So I thought I'd get Lily and brush her since I did um, James, let's try to do her. But then she's decided to crawl onto the puppy dog. So I don't know if she's actually going to sit and let me, if I do it, I have to have the phone away from her because she's trying to grab the phone. But see, also too, I try to show you guys what they're like for the fact so many people want them as pets, but they don't seem to realize that, yes, they're cute and you wrap them up and you feed them a bottle, but that lasts only for a little time. Then all of a sudden they become toddlers and then all of a sudden they become teenagers and then they're bats, they're adult bats. So, I mean, they're, yes, they're cute and cuddly, but that only lasts like four to six weeks and then they become very adventurous and then they'll start one of flying around soon that that's in a couple of more weeks thank goodness because usually by christmas i'm i'm like pulling my hair out and the longer you have them the the longer or the more you realize how awful they would be as pets no not that they are awful but it, it's you can't take something that should be flying and and free and put it in a small cage or hang it on a air for it to just sit there all day they need to fly and i mean i'm not saying an old bat that's maybe you know rehabilitation bat that can't be released that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about a young healthy bat that needs to be free and you know to take a bat that uh, is healthy and just keep it as a little prisoner and that's what they are they are prisoners because they love to be around other bats and who's to say if you get two that those two are going to get along at least in a colony they have hundreds of bats to choose from if they don't want to be around that bat they don't have to be around that bat so that is why i try to show you the more they age and they get bigger, the more that it's ridiculous to want them as a pet. And um, we'll try brushing her. She's going to go for try to go for the, to bite the brush. I just know it. And yes, if I stick it in her face, but I have to get it to this side of her. So, see, she could be just, she could be just like him. But she's, she's got a quiet little voice, she's a tiny little voice. You'll hear him squawking and squawking. And then you hear this tiny little voice coming out from, you know. She's such a sweet, she's such a lady. If you didn't know, like, and you just saw from their personalities, you'd know right away who was the girl and who was the boy, just because their personalities. She's such a dainty little thing. But, um, yeah, so that's that's the main reason why I'm trying to, to show you guys that it's uh, not really a practical thing to have them as a pet. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love them dearly. And it breaks my heart every year to say goodbye to them. It really does. And, and everyone gets excited about Christmas. You know what Christmas means to me? It means that I'm only going to have them for a couple more weeks. So it is hard. It's very hard. So, you know, you have to, you have to let go. If you love something, you have to let it go. And it's not, I know it's not coming back. So, oh, geez, I get so silly, don't I? I can't help it. I, I do love them dearly. Don't, you know, don't ever think that it's an easy thing to do. It isn't. Not for me. I mean, some carriers are really good at it, but, you know, I'm not. And I'm not going to pretend I am. I'm not going to pretend that I'm something I'm not, so. But, um, yeah, I don't think she she's going to be just as, uh, she's she wants to groom herself, and I don't think brushing is going to be on her agenda. And as I was brushing her, I was finding grapes. She had some grape leavings and other fruit leavings on her. 
I don't know if she's saving it for later or, or what, but... But, uh, no, she's, she's a good little girl. She's my precious good little girl. And like I said, just because you don't see her a lot doesn't mean... It's just because he's usually... He's sitting in the sun right now, so... He's having his little time alone, so... Which they like. They like to be alone, too. They don't always like to be with each other. Do they? Do you? You like to be alone. Your alone time. Hey, my precious, precious girl. Oh, see? There you go. That's my good girl. That's my precious. Oh, she's liking that now. Aren't you? But she'll still want to bite it. She'll still want to bite it. You still want to bite it. That's a good girl. There we go. It's my good girl. Hey, my precious. That's my good girl. Do you want the brush? There you go. Let's see if she tries to brush herself. Whoops. Big wings. Big stretches. Big stretches. I love their wings. It was, you know, just like anybody, when you're around other animals with just paws and stuff and hooves, and then all of a sudden you're around this beautiful animal with, with these huge wings. It takes a while to get used to wings. Because you, you're, at first you're so afraid you're going to hurt them and hurt the animal and... So you're always so delicate with the wings. Well, not that you shouldn't be, but... See, they love to clean. They're very clean animals. Very clean. And they love to to clean and then let the sun go on them, clean, let the sun, because if they get any bacterial or anything on them, this, the sun uh, helps fight any infections or anything, so, and because they're always wrapped up in damp and that, it's always good. The sun is, I mean, so many people are still in that bats in the dark. So, it's kind of a new concept for people to have to, everything that they learnt years ago, to change and relearn. To relearn that bats don't suck blood, that they don't just eat bugs, that they, they don't all live in caves. These are all new to so many people. It's amazing. So I'll stop it now because I'm going to go put her with with James so she could get the full extent of the sun and or leave her here away from James so she's got her own space. She seems to like her own space. He doesn't hurt her or anything. He's, he actually is quite good to her, so... 
But this is Lily. A lot of people haven't seen her for a while, so just thought you'd get a chance to see little Miss Busy Lily. Miss Busy Pants. <laughs> She's so sweet. Just wanna just wanna eat her up. She's just so sweet. So say bye to everyone, Lily. Say bye. Say thanks for watching me. Thanks for watching me because James is usually the star. Right? It's usually all about James. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.